you guys want to see the best pack on the market for the money, stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. guys thanks for joining me on another video I'm Nick if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell on my next so you'll know when my next video is going to be out today we're going to talk about the outdoor vitals Rhyolite 60 liter backpack time for the 360 in my opinion guys it's probably the best made backpack on the market and we'll go in some more details so don't go away on the belt system, definitely well thought out, YKK buckles, and to cinch it up, get some weight off your back, you pull forward with it, which is, you know, going the opposite way is totally against your strength. This way, it's pulling, getting you nice and tight, you can put it wherever you want. It also fits real nice if you want to give just your waistline a rest, maybe you're sweating, you unbuckle it, that thing still holds very very well we got a uh, chest strap with no elastic which I like because elastic always wears out with YKK buckles very well padded shoulder system and we'll take this thing off and I'll give you some more details all right first things I kind of wanted to go over where the channel was leading guys I think I may have confused a few people uh, I'm still going to do my hunting videos. I'm, I'm going to upload them onto YouTube still. I'm just gonna, not going to monetize them because they're being censored. So we'll definitely do that as soon as deer season's back in. Squirrel, uh, rabbit, you name it. But we're going to do a lot of hunting and fishing videos. We're going to do a lot of pack-in, uh, wild camps, bushcraft camps, the whole nine yards. But today we're going to definitely do a gear review. And I'm mainly doing gear that I have obtained myself. That way... It's a non-biased opinion. No one's paying me to do it. It's mainly to tell you, hey, I use this gear and it's great gear. That's all it's for. It's my opinion. Strictly my opinion. And I've had this Ryolite backpack now. I'm saying four or five months now since, you know, winter started more or less. And I love it. I mean, it is the best backpack for what my needs were. I was looking for a backpack that was very versatile where I could use it for hunting, fishing, backpacking. I want it to be non-military looking but still kind of blend in with some you know uh, natural colors this it's a dark charcoal gray but it almost has a green hue to it I love it guys I mean the cyst they really thought it out it don't have a bunch of crap zippers all over the place everything on it is very very useful that's why I wanted to tell you guys about this and show you that it is a great backpack one thing I do feel strongly about, if you're going to spend the money on something, I think it's going to be for backpacking or bushcrafting, wild camping, whatever. I think the money should be spent on a sleep system and a backpack, some way of conveying your supplies. That's mainly why I'll spend a little more money on that. Most of the time, you guys know I love military backpacks. I love bush pack, bushcraft backpacks. The bushcraft backpacks can get way up there in price. And like I say, I was looking for something more for us common men. So let's see what happens and see if you guys like this too. Please leave your comments below to let me know what you think. You see it has a nice shock cord system so you can put your uh, mat on it. I got an old school military style on here, army issue. You can see guys, these shock cords can really come in handy. You can use them for drying clothes that you got wet or strapping anything. You can just use your imagination on those. Plenty of other places to hook carabiners. So you got multiple ways of using this. Your main flap right here on top, we got a nice horseshoe shaped zipper. I was keeping my uh, camera gear in here right on top so I can get to it. Glasses something to wipe off my face oversized uh, zipper opening which is just wonderful being able to get into things the only thing you got to be careful you got to make sure that's zipped so when you unbuckle it everything don't fly out of it and that's with any backpack 
It is a dump style backpack with two uh, draw cords. So if you had to overextend for extra gear, and you also have a shock cord, draw cord here. And I purposely overloaded this thing today just to show you how much you can get in it. The nice thing about this top, it also can come off and turn into a fanny pack. Got another belt, more YKK buckles, which you can strap this to you. And we'll show you when we uh, go through the rest of the, the pack. And there also is a compartment inside of here if you want to put your maps or anything like your TP or whatever. Side pocket will fit a full military canteen with the cup. Fits in there very snug. And you also have these 45 degree angle straps to cinch things down also. Make sure I'm showing you guys that in the camera. You can cinch, cinch it down nice. I do like the 45 degree angle like that. Seems to hold your gear up instead of letting it, the weight hang downwards and kind of pull on your upper back. And it has it on both sides. For you backpackers, it does fit your large smart bottles of water also. I've even had my uh, 1022 Ruger in this. My uh, tripod fits in this awesome. And like I say, you got them 45 degree angle cinch straps, which are awesome. And you also have the 45 degree cinch straps up high, which really keeps your gear together. And like I say, these side pockets are not sloppy at all. I've had backpacks where you put stuff in it, your water bottle's full of water, you go walking down a road or trail, you go to look for your water bottle and it probably got snagged on something and flew out. That's why I like the uh, strapping system that comes through with it also. You like that pack, Bella? I was looking for a big pack. I'd rather have a bigger pack where I can have lots of extra room, so if I want to bring extra food, you guys know how I like to bring deer venison uh, for the first night out, but I just was looking for something a little larger. So this one is a 60 liter pack. They do make it in a 45 liter. It has a, a, a aluminum frame in it. It's made out of 600 denier fabric, and it's also coated with a 1500 millimeter waterproofing slash water resistant but that's okay it does come with a rain fly and I will show you that also it does have the loops coming off the bottom so if you want to put an ice pick whatever you want to tie a blanket to it tie some clothes to dry whatever and it also does come with its own rain fly which adds another 2,000 millimeters of waterproof and I have used it this weekend their great logo I want to show you the inside underside what's up against your back it is an adjustable torso this thing will adjust from five foot five to six foot six I mean that's that's great that's how versatile this is they really thought it out this thing actually corrects my back when I'm walking it actually makes my back feel better great great padding in here nice wide waist belt place to hold it carry it if you want to hike it up over a fence or hang it somewhere so you got your carrying loop everything on it is YKK zippers YKK buckles and they really thought this one out guys they have a side zipper so you don't have to go through the dig through the top trying to find your gear so you can get to your sleeping bag if you want to grab it the bivy paracord whatever your tarp maybe your personals that side zipper with a rain flap YKK zippers. It is compatible with the H2O system for your water. It does have a pocket for it, which actually fits a laptop perfectly. I think what I like about it the most is the simplicity about it. I mean, there's not a whole bunch of extra pockets. It's a dump style, which I've always liked. You just keep dumping everything in. I like it even better because it does have the side zipper which I can get into something in a hurry if I need it to be.
and I did say it's the 60 liter. The 60 liter comes in weighing about 4 pounds, 13 ounces. Your 45 degree liter comes in weighing about 4 pounds, 5 ounces. As I paid 109.97 for the 60 liter, and I also have the 45 liter. I paid 99.97 for the 45 liter, and I got that one for Sean for his birthday. But this one here is the 60 liter, a little bit more larger capacity. The 60 liter comes in about between 36 and 3700 square cubic inches. Now to show you what all I brought in this thing, like I say I purposely overpacked this thing just to show you how much you can fit in it. First, got my Italian wool blanket. I strapped the uh, pad to it, of course. Got my cook kit. Long John Gaunchies. Little Possibles pack. A down uh, vest in case it got cold. My UST tube tarp. I got some paracord. This is my sleep system. We're going to do another video on that. And there goes my pack. What's nice about that, don't have to worry too much about it getting dirty. It does wash off very well. But I got my uh, Gore-Tex military bivy. And then in the bottom, I got my Summit Zero Outdoor Vitals Mummy Sleeping Bag. Down sleeping bag the best sleeping bag on the market right now for the money. So definitely stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do a good detailed video on this, tell you about all the specs. I've had it in zero degree weather and I was super comfortable with that video. So we got that also. What else we got in here? In the front. Gun holster. Another little possibles bag. Some gloves tripod and first aid did want to show you in the inside of this it does have mesh compartments first aid wise got my little first aid pick kit got me some gorilla tape poncho some TP fire striker and some more paracord Lots of room guys, lots of room. We'll go ahead and pull that out too just so you know what all I had in this thing. And there was plenty more room. It does have an aluminum removal internal frame on it made of a, out of a high grade T6 aluminum. Now this thing can fit everything but the kitchen sink guys. I also had food, I already ate that. We totally got rained out on an overnighter. We were going to do some fishing and such. That's what I had in the white case right there just some hooks and such a few lures but you guys can see I had all kinds of weight in that thing today it does have some organizing pockets in the front pocket that you can actually see through with mesh that way if you had your phone in there compass whatever you, or uh, like I have my first aid kit you can see it real quick Also had the trash bags, two trash bags, I always bring them with me, and the uh, two water bottles, the canteen and the smart bottle with the canteen cup. So all in all, you definitely, definitely can carry a lot of gear, and that's one of your main things going into the wood is some way of conveying your supplies. We'd all love to just walk in the woods and live off the land. It sounds romantic and nostalgic, but in true form, even Dick Prennicky, uh, you know, he had a way of conveying his equipment to build his cabin and such. And don't get me wrong, I'm not taking away from nothing from him. He's one of my biggest idols. Was one of my biggest dreams to do as a kid. Kind of what got me into it. But I just want to show you this backpack. If you guys were gonna spend the money in that hundred dollar range this is the backpack I had a lot of questions I spoke with Derek he was awesome helped me out a lot they are a direct consumer so there's no middleman that way they can cut out all the 
extra profits for other people so it's directly to you and they're constantly having sales guys they have great gear they have all kinds of stuff so definitely check it out like I say this is water H2O compatible got your straps to run your hose through here and you got a pocket down here which will fit a laptop perfectly also the waist ranges from 20 inches to 64 inches on the belt you can see this I'm not afraid to get it dirty guys I use my gear like I said I've had this about four months it does have your side pockets which these are compatible with the fanny pack when you take the top off of this the side pockets are velcroed on so they're not going to go anywhere or slip and slide but you can take them if you want to remove the pockets you can and you can attach a sidearm holster to it bear spray whatever as you can see the top comes off turns into a fanny pack that you can use with the side pockets also that comes off the waist brim so you got your modern day haversack or if you want to go doing some mushroom hunting or whatever go away from camp got another way of doing it lots of room another up and coming video gear review is going to be on these 24-7 series made by TrueSpec. There are Expedition pants. I went with the green and black. Probably my favorite pair of pants. So look for that video, guys. And like I say, guys, there are a great bunch of guys down there. They give lifetime warranties on their equipment. That I think that says a lot. Um, Bella, quit throwing dirt all over my pack. What are you, crazy? Digging dirt and throwing it into my stuff? What's the matter with you? Can't take this dog anywhere. Well, anyways, what we were saying is they have some great gear out guys out there, guys. They're trying to save us money so we can get out in the woods and enjoy ourselves. Live ultra light is how they like to say. I am definitely part of their OV tribe now. The next video is probably going to be on this Summit Zero sleeping bag. They have some great sleeping bag products. Uh, pillows. They have, look at this dog. Fella, are you crazy? You're throwing mud everywhere. You're throwing mud everywhere. Get, get, go play. Uh, they have everything you can think of pillows uh, mattresses all kinds of stuff tents tarps everything so stay tuned for the next video I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft take care keep being out there their gear outdoor vitals gets an all sun you don't get no better than that for me thumbs up from the Whitetail Bushcraft clan I just love digging holes and throwing mud all over my gear are you crazy throwing mud all over my gear Say hi, everybody. Say hi to Bella. Muddy as usual. She's definitely a camp dog. Closer look at these cinch straps. You grab them here, pulls that thing just nice. Gets all that weight off your sciatic for me, anyways. Just brings it up great. And all the, like I say, the other cinch straps are at a 45 degree angle, and that keeps that weight from wanting to hang downwards. It's actually being held up a little bit, and just makes it for a more comfortable load. Very, very well thought out. You ready to go, Bell? Let's head back to the house. Almost forgot about the giveaway. Expedition Research Kettle. I do have more of these to give away, guys, so make sure you're checking out my other videos. We'll do more drawing maybe once a month. But who won the drawing today was Janine Kirk, so congratulations. I will be getting a hold of you. Once again, guys, take care, and I'll catch you on the next video.